Hey guys, my name is Eric and today I'm going to be doing my first product review of the Northridge Fix Micro Soldering Pen. Now I should mention that this pen seems to be a rebranding of the Q on Lee USB iron and while I could have bought this from AliExpress, Northridge Fix is uh, down the street for me so they're a local business and I much rather prefer my money goes to a local business than to China directly. And Alex is a great guy, he runs a great YouTube channel. Um, just so much educational content on there for you to learn about repairs um, if you want to get into it as a hobbyist or professionally i highly recommend you check out his videos and um, when i went to go pick up this pen i got to meet him for the first time you know super nice um, and even walking out of his shop uh, i walked out with more knowledge than i had walking in which is extremely it's amazing a person who just gives out knowledge like that uh, is rare you know, he's uh, just awesome guy. Recommend everything about his YouTube channel and his business. Now, what you get inside this box is the soldering pen, obviously. You get three tips, a conical bent and a chisel tip, a Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 power brick, USB-A to USB-C cable, and a stand for the, whole, stand for the pen when it's not in use. Um, in a moment, I'm going to switch over to my microscope so you guys can uh, see how fine these tips really are. And then I'll switch over to the thermal camera so you can see how fast this iron can heat up. Um, and it heats up pretty quick, which is pretty impressive. Now that we're under the microscope, you can really see how fine these tips really are. Um, they're very sharp, very tiny, um, and they work pretty well with SMD soldering, as you'll later see in the video. And now we're under the thermal camera, and as you can see, as soon as I press the button, the tip just instantly lights up and reaches uh, 150 degrees Celsius almost instantaneously. Uh, in a little bit, I'm going to let go of the button, and you'll see how fast it'll cool down. And eventually, my USB-C hub is hotter than the iron. So uh, this iron heats up and cools down really fast, which is uh, pretty amazing. And now we're going to be using the, the pen to see how it performs in SMD soldering because this is what I bought it for. Um, Northridge Fix also sells a practice SMD board, which I thought would be perfect to try out this pen on. And I first start off with 0603 size resistors. Um, and before I soldered this one, I tried with, uh, I tried soldering other ones and um, they don't look the best. Uh, I'm quite new at SMD soldering. This is the first time I attempt SMD soldering, so I don't expect to be perfect, but I feel that um, eventually my, my solder joints got better and better. As you can see in the bottom left, um, the resistor has two big balls of solder on each side, and um, that's a, that, was, that was my first attempt. You know, I wasn't expecting to be perfect the first time around. Now, eventually, we move on to 0805 size resistors, and these are a, just a bit bigger than 0603, um, but uh, I found that as the resistor gets bigger, it's just easier for me to manage and to solder on. And with this pen, I, you know, I was having a pretty easy time. I applied solder to both pads, um, and I would join one side of the resistor, and it would just fall into place and then go on the other side, solder the other side, and that was pretty it. Uh, it's pretty simple. The only hard part really was just taking the resistor out of the packaging and um, getting, getting it off my tweezers. These things are incredibly small, and um, if you put too much pressure with your tweezers, it'll just fly into the void and you'll never see it again. Now we're going to do 1206 
1206 size resistors and these are a bit bigger um, way easier to manage and deal with um, I didn't find myself really losing these as much as I did the 0603 components I, I lost a couple just by putting too much pressure on my tweezers and um, you know the soldering process was the same as the other two I had a pretty easy time with this pen uh, solder melted quickly solder went onto the pad um, it did its job pretty well Next, we move on to these diodes, and um, these diodes are obviously bigger than the resistors, so much easier to grab, much easier to place on the board, and um, fairly simple to solder on with this pen. I didn't really have any trouble. Um, as you can see, this is the first diode I attempt, and I had an easy time getting it into place. So next I move on to these transistors and these have three pins I have to solder on. So I start with the first pin on the top and as soon as that's soldered on the other two pins align with the pads and I just go in and solder the last two. Um, again, this pen just made it fairly easy. Um, I've done through hole soldering before, so this wasn't, this didn't feel too different. Everything is just very microscopic. And um, the, the microscope camera and the tweezers help a ton just uh, being able to place the components and being able to see what I'm doing. Uh, it all makes it pretty straightforward and pretty easy. And finally, the last chip we have is a SOP16 um, SMD chip. And um, this one was straightforward. I just uh, aligned it with the pins. I soldered one pin so it wouldn't move. And I just soldered the opposite pin on the other side just so um, it was secured on both sides and wouldn't um, budge at all. And I should note, uh, I'm, I have the wrong size solder. I am, I am using 0.8. Um, side solder, which uh, would explain why I sometimes leave some pretty big solder balls. If I had 0 0.3, I would probably be able to avoid that, but um, I'm just making do with what I have, and I feel like uh, I did a pretty good job even with the, the bigger solder. Now, it obviously leaves way more solder than I would have liked on each pad, but um, there's no bridging, so uh, I would consider this a success. And as my first SMD practice board, um, I'm kind of happy that I was able to solder these components with um, relative ease. And it, um, that's thanks to, of course, the tweezers I have and this soldering pen. If I were to use the my other soldering iron, which is a, uh, it's a Hacko clone, uh, it's pretty chunky. So uh, there's no way I would have been able to perform these repairs. So overall, if you're looking for a mini soldering pen, I highly recommend you check this pen out. Um, I'll link um, to the Northridge Fix store uh, if you want US shipping, or I'll just link to the AliExpress shop or an eBay item listing. Um, each tool I use, I'll list it in the description. And um, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I look forward to making more videos and um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, see you guys next time.